Jeremiah chapter 29, the verse number five. I'll start from verse four. I'll start from verse four. See, people, when you see a sickness, COVID 19, <laughs> Where even after vaccination and second dose, we are still wearing masks. It means Adiano Ebi Anyankoi. From today, watch this. Don't postpone anything God wants you to do. Hey, you know what? The COVID was going on and this man of God was building this thing. He looked like a madman. How can you be building in the midst of COVID? And I'm sure some of you once in a while were thinking doesn't our pastor know what is going on? He knew what was going on but he has a different set of instrument in him. And the instrument is the instrument of faith. Seriously. To walk around Prophet Nana and have unbelief. You must have a different level of unbelief. The man has a way he will cast it out of him. Jeremiah the prophet is talking to people. And he said, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captive, whom I have caused to be carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. Listen, this virus has carried us into captivity. And he said, God said, whom I have caused to be carried away. So he's not the one who carried you away, but he allowed it. He allowed it. So we've been taken captive. Now look at verse 5. Build you houses and dwell in them. COVID-19 is going on, but build your house. Anybody who can lift up your right hand right now, I see the hand empowered to build a house. Those of you that are abroad, pay off your marry sanctify the wife from corona sanctify the husband from corona take him and say i sanctify you in the name of jesus you are corona free take now if you are married already keep the one you have but he's talking about people who are not married take ye wives and beget sons and daughters and take wives for your sons of course not those who are in jhs and give your daughters to husbands that they may bear sons and daughters that you may be increased there but not diminished i prophesy on somebody's life you are going to increase and you are not going to diminish in this time you will increase but not diminish Increase, but not diminish. But you see, the verse I really liked, the verse I really like, is the verse 28. The verse 28 is very sobering. But look at it. For therefore, he sent unto us in Babylon saying this captivity is long this captivity is long when the covid came everybody said one week two weeks one month <laughs> but this captivity is long when they give you a vaccine and they said the vaccine can only last three months it means it's long after the three months what
Most of us are in a world where we don't know where the virus came from. And the people who know where it came from, they are the ones who are talking to us. Cover your nose, we cover. Chook injection, we chook. Social distance, we separate. Don't shake hands. We start elbows. And then now, you see where dog is touching. When he removes his hand, I'll come and touch it. So what's the difference between shaking his hand and touching this? But you see, we have all been programmed to think some way. As soon as your neighbor goes, chim, you say, turn the fire your head. <laughs> Wherever the witches from your village are sending you, go back to them. <laughs> Uncle Joe, you know the mystery? Before Corona, I used to hear people coughing. Yes. When was the last time you heard somebody coughing? <laughs> Before Corona, people could sneeze. Few, few everywhere, few. All of a sudden, few has become Suram. Suram is a is a Hausa language of Rafra. It means quiet. People are not, who just coughed here. I just heard some ooh, ooh, here. Or it was laughter. Even crocodile doesn't laugh like that. Crocodile. <laughs> he said. ye houses and dwell in them he said because the captivity is long and plant gardens and eat the fruit thereof see i talked about the jubilee don't plant don't do this don't do that. but after one year go back to normal life I pray in Jesus' name. No matter how long the captivity is. Receive grace to build houses. I intentionally said they should bring these three blocks here. Block number one, block number two, block number three. And I didn't know the meaning. I asked the Lord, why did I leave three blocks in the church? The Holy Ghost said, one is the foundation, one is the superstructure, one is the roof. He said, tell my people, any foundation their hands lay, they will have the power to finish the house, complete the house, and dwell in the house in the name of Jesus Christ.